Hi everyone, this is Hello Angel Doll Design. Today we are making a very beautiful dress with a strap shoulder. I am going to take you step by step on how to achieve this dress. It's a step by step tutorial. First thing that we are going to do, we are going to grab our basic pattern paper and adjust it. If you don't know how to make a basic pattern paper, I will put the link on the description box below so that you can go and watch the video. What we are going to do, grab your basic pattern paper let's adjust the top dress of the pattern and then we cannot place it on our fabric and cut it out and i'm going to tell you the measurement of the first layer skirt and i'm going to tell you the measurement of the second layer skirt the back of this dress has snap closure you can either use snap closure or buttonhole that totally depends on you please follow us on all social media platform hello angel or design facebook instagram TikTok, youtube hello angel the design you can also support us by giving us super thanks you can also watch our video on facebook and you can also support us by giving us stars on facebook it is not a requirement you can also support us and that give us more courage to share more video with you guys so let's get started First thing that you have to do, grab your basic pattern paper. This is my basic pattern paper for three to four years old child. This is the front and this is the back and this is my pen. I have my measuring tape here and I also have my scissors right here. So what we are going to do, we are going to adjust the pattern paper before we start making the dress. This is the front of my basic pattern paper. What you are going to do, we are going to adjust the shoulder and the neckline and also at the armhole. So what we are going to do, you pick your measuring tape like this, place it at the shoulder like this. You are going to pick your measuring tape, put it at the end of the shoulder. That means you are divided the shoulder into two like this. And then you take your marker, you just mark that. So this will be the center of your shoulder pattern paper. And then you come down to the neckline. I will place my measuring tape at the neckline. I'm going to measure that two centimeter is right here. I have take my two centimeter at the front neckline. The next thing that you have to do, you place your measuring tape, you determine the width of your strap. If you want three centimeter, if you want four centimeter, that totally depends on you. So what I'm going to do, I'll place my measuring tape like this. From this mid part, I'm going to measure down two centimeter and I will turn my measuring tape again. From this mid part, I'm going to measure down two centimeter. I have taken my measurement right here. This is two centimeter. This is two centimeter. The next thing that you have to do, I will just turn my pattern paper like this. So, so that the shoulder is facing me. The next thing that you have to do, you pick your measuring tape. From this mid part, I am going to take a measurement of two centimeter. I have taken my two centimeter from the mid part of the shoulder down right here. This is the two centimeter. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to connect all these marks together. So what we are going to do, you take your arm hook up, you're going to connect from the shoulder right here to the neckline. You, and then you connect from the shoulder right here to the arm hook. I have covered the neckline this is how it is the next thing that you have to do also pick your armhole curve you are going to cover the armhole so you place your armhole curve like this you are going to connect all the way down to the armhole I have connect from the shoulder to the armhole the next thing that you have to do you take your ruler this is our two centimeter that we measure from the center point of the shoulder down here. So what you are going to do, you place it at the shoulder. That is the two centimeter. You are going to give it a straight line like that. 
I have connected to the armhole, I have connected to the neckline, and I've also connected to the shoulder seam. So the next thing that we have to do, we are going to take our scissors and cut it up. Before you cut it, I just want to explain for the neckline. If you don't want your neckline to be deeper, you can take 1.5 centimeter. Or if you're using inches, you can take 0.5 inch. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my scissors and cut it out. And I will also repeat the same process with the back pattern paper. This is my back pattern paper. First thing that we have to do, we are going to take the center of the shoulder. So you pick your measuring tape like this, you place it at the shoulder. You are going to take the center point of the shoulder. So you fold your measuring tape into two like this and then this will be the center point of my shoulder seam once you take that measurement the next thing that you have to do you place your measuring tape like this from that center point you take two centimeter and then you come down to the center point all over again you place your measuring tape you are going to take two centimeter if you're using inches you can take 0 0.75 inch on this side 0 0.75 inch on the other side i have taken my both measurement on the shoulder seam the next thing that we have to do we come down to the center back that is the center back of our pattern paper you are going to place your measuring tape we are going to take 1.5 centimeter so you place your measuring tape like this measure that 1.5 centimeter is right here i have taken for the neckline 1.5 centimeter the next thing that we have to do from the center point of the shoulder we are going to take a measurement of two centimeter so i am going to turn my pattern paper like this because i want it to be facing me i will place my measuring tape and i am going to take two centimeter if you're using inches you can measure 0 0.75 inch the next thing that we have to do we are going to connect all these marks together so what you are going to do you take your arm hook off you place it like this at the neckline. You connect the neckline together. And then you come down to the armhole. You are also going to connect the armhole together. Take your armhole curve and connect it together. I have connected the armhole together and the neckline. The next thing that you have to do, you connect the shoulder together. You take your ruler, you just go ahead and connect the shoulder together. Once you have connected all these marks together, the next thing that you have to do, you take your scissors, you cut it out. The next thing that we have to do, we are going to place our pattern paper on our fabric and cut it out. So when you are cutting out your fabric, for the front, remember the center front is always on fold. You are going to add one centimeter seam allowance at the neckline, one centimeter seam allowance at the shoulder, one centimeter seam allowance at the armhole and at the side seam, you also add your seam allowance. For the bottom edge, I'm not going to add seam allowance. You can also add seam allowance at the waistline of your fabric when you are cutting them out, but I'm not going to add seam allowance on my fabric. For the back pattern paper, what you are going to do, for the center back, you are going to add three centimeter. If you're using inches, you can measure 1.25 inch. Neckline, shoulder, armhole, side seam, I'm going to add one centimeter seam allowance it depends on the seam allowance that you prefer you can go ahead and add seam allowance on your fabric when you are cutting them out so i will go ahead and cut out my fabric and i will show you how i cut my fabric i have cut out the back this is the main fabric so for the center back i add three centimeter seam allowance size seam arm her shoulder neckline i add one centimeter seam allowance 
and I also cut out the lining and uh, this is the front remember the front when you are placing your pattern paper on your fabric the front is always on fold so you put it on fold and then you cut it out add your seam allowance my seam allowance is one centimeter the neckline shoulder armhole and side seam and I've also cut out the lining and I've also cut out my skirt. My skirt is two layer skirt. So I have cut out the front and I've also cut out the back. The front skirt is going to be on fold. The back skirt is going to be on fold. And this is my first layer skirt. I am going to place my measuring tape. I'm going to tell you the length of my first layer skirt. The length of my first layer skirt is 21.5 centimeter. If you're using inches, you can measure eight and half inch. That is the length of my first layer skirt. When you are cutting your skirt, make sure that you are cutting two pieces. And this is my second layer skirt. I also cut two pieces. To get the width of your second layer skirt, what you are going to do, you take your first layer skirt, take the total measurement of the width, times that by two or 1.5. The measurement that you get, that will be the measurement that you are going to take for the width of the second layer skirt. So I am going to tell you the length of my second layer skirt. I'll place my measuring tape like this. The length is 24 and a half centimeter. If you're using inches, you can measure nine and a half inch. You are going to also cut two pieces and make sure that your fabric is on fold. One for the front, one for the back. So this is how I cut my second layer skirt. And I've also cut out my lining. This is the front of my lining and this is the back of my lining. You can see that my back lining is on fold. My front lining is also on fold. So when you are cutting your lining, make sure you place the back and the front on fold when cutting them out. So this is how I cut out my fabric. Let's put the dress together.